for the Sunday school on this morning. Amen. Our sister Patty was Smith. Amen. She taught. Amen. She taught this morning. Amen. And I like to start my morning off with a word from the Lord. Amen. And she certainly did that. So if you're not on there on Sunday mornings, amen, for our Bible school, Sunday school, amen, join. Amen. She's teaching. Amen. Lord knows she's teaching. Amen. She talked about those giants. Amen. Oh, this morning, she talked about the resurrection. Amen. She talked about obedience. Amen. It was good. Amen. I'm glad I was in there. Amen. To hear. Amen. The word on this morning. Amen. So we're going to call a portion of our choir. Amen. To her the selection. Amen. Followed by our choir. Amen. We want to have our deacon Thomas. Amen. The minister of music. Amen to our best selection. Amen.
your service. We pray, God, that we would be all called the instruments of you. That you would speak to us, that you would use us for your glory. Not for our pleasing or even in service, but God, that you would make us an instrument, a vessel. God, to speak to your people. Give your word a people. Give your people a word. A divine word. A word that will destroy yokes. A word that would help them. A word that would encourage them. A word that would set them free. Amen. Amen. God bless everybody. Welcome to Holy Temple Holy Church of Deliverance here in the city of Baltimore, Maryland. Sanitation, any kind of way that we can. 
praise the Lord, it just helps. Amen. Um, when you have family over, I know I'm over here just talking. Praise the Lord. You got um, you have family over and you enjoy family, but sometimes family might not be well. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can still enjoy the family, but just be a little bit take some precautions. Is that all right? Amen. Not telling you to put a sign up and say, I'm quarantined and you can't come here. Praise the Lord. If you're not well, then that's a good decision. But praise the Lord, when you have a lot of people, we have to be very careful. Is that all right? Amen. We have a word of God for you today. I'm sorry for that little PSA. Praise the Lord. Amen. But um, it's something I've been thinking about. Praise God. Um, that is important. Praise the Lord. And I didn't shoot off at any churches. Amen. I just, um, we only can control what we can control. Is that all right? Praise the Lord. I just want us to be diligent. Praise the Lord like we can be. Is that all right? Amen. The last time I was here, we were able to talk about giants. And we wanted to talk a little bit about it again today. Why? Because we're dealing with giants today. You yeah, yeah. said, how are we dealing with giants today? See, God is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. And sometimes we come up against things. We come up against situations. We come up against people. And those people sometimes have the characteristics that we look at when we say giants. Uh, what are you talking about? Go to Genesis, the fourth chapter, and we're going to have uh, our sister Pastor Reed for us, and we pray the Lord would bless you through this word, uh, because I think it's important and it will help you. Praise God. It will help you to deal with your problems, your situations, the individuals. It will help you to see what's, what's happening. Uh, the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Uh, some of the things that you're going through today uh, don't have anything to do with flesh and blood. It has to do with spirits. Spirits are real. Uh, spirits exist. Uh, people um, can be used and used by spirits. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, Paul did not lie when he told us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You think what you're dealing with is something natural, but it's not. Help me, Holy Ghost. It's something that is spiritual. It is uh, a move against you. You've been targeted. You've been uh, appointed to uh, a summons has been sent out for you. Uh, a warrant has been sent out for you. You. The devil wants to destroy. What does the Bible say? Uh, the thief cometh but to kill, steal, and destroy. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, it's important to understand that not everything that's happened to you and what you're going through has to do with something that's natural, something you caused. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, oftentimes, uh, all you got to do is live 
godly. Uh, uh, Apostle Paul said, all those that live godly shall suffer persecution. Uh, you didn't do anything. David said they hated me without a cause. You ever been hated? People hate you and you don't know why they hate you. You ain't did nothing to them. You didn't do nothing but walk uprightly. You didn't do anything but speak to them. You didn't do anything but be kind. Ah, uh, people, that's a spirit. The sin people, uh, uh, that spirit will hate you, want to uh, overthrow you, want to destroy you. Amen. Lord, I love you. All right, we're in Genesis, the first, the sixth chapter, the first verse, and want to ask uh, Pastor Smith if she read for us. Genesis six and one, and it came to pass. When men began to multiply. Now listen to this. When men began to multiply. Now God said in the beginning, uh, God created the heaven and earth, and earth was without form and void. And uh, God uh, created the heavens, and He He divided the heavens, and He gave firmaments, and He put stars in the sky, and He put green grass and herbs and trees, and He put animals, and He came back and He put man there, and He told man to be fruitful and multiply. When Lord have mercy, uh, uh, God uh, He multiplied. Read that scripture one more time. Read it, please. And it came to pass when men began to multiply. When men became, when, when they began to multiply, when they began to increase, when they began to have children. Read. On the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them. So they began to multiply and they had daughters. Uh oh. Read. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. The sons of God. Now, I could go into a little bit of history about the sons of God. And you're talking about the sons of God. Who are you speaking about? We're speaking in specific terms about angels. Yeah. Uh, you can fair, you can have different references where Job mentions that, that when the sons of God presented themselves, uh, Satan came also. Uh, you can talk about uh, the different, but God here is specific, specifically he's talking about angels. Uh, they begin to multiply, and as they multiplied, the angels saw this. They saw that they had daughters, and the daughters, you were learn that they were fair. They were good looking. They were beautiful. Read. And they took them wives of all. And it says that they took them wives. Now, I'm not getting too much into this, but I want to just make some things clear that they, these angels uh, transformed themselves. And they took themselves wives. Read. And the, and the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Now, God gave us the ability to choose. We're not going to always have God to execute judgment when uh, we think he's supposed to execute judgment. Sometimes God gives grace, period. Sometimes God allows us to choose. God allows us to make decisions. And, and But you can be sure that your sin will find you out. You can be sure that the ways of sin is death. This was not something that was pleasing in our God's eyesight. Read. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. Read. There were giants in the earth in those days. Now, the days of 120 years was a grace period. Uh, Lord have mercy. It was a period where Noah preached, where Noah ministered, where Noah built the ark. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, sometime God would give us a grace period to make some changes. He saw there were no changes being made, and that, that angered God. Read. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, 
The same became mighty men which were of old. They became men when these sons of God uh, laid with the women and the daughters and uh, Lord, I thank you right now. And as a result, they began to have children and these children became mighty and they became renowned. What does that mean? Mighty means powerful. They became important. They became, uh, uh, Lord have mercy, with their knowledge, with their wisdom, with their gifted uh, uh, ability, they begin to do special things. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. And, and not always were they in line with God's word or what God wanted. Help me hold the ghost. Oftentimes, uh, uh, you have to watch it when you're gifted uh, because the devil can take your gift uh, and use it to manipulate others. Uh, you can talk well. He can use you to be uh, hallelujah filibuster. Uh, he can use you to have the gift of gab. He can use you to be persuasive. Uh, to lead people astray. Uh, uh, my pastor used to often say watch uh, the fast talk. Watch those uh, that don't take a breath. Lord, I thank you right now. Watch those that are clever with the words. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, be slow to speak, swift to hear, and slow to wrath. Uh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, we have to have the spirit of discernment. Uh, try the spirit, not by the spirit, but try Try it by the word of God. That's my late chief apostle used to say. What it means by you know a tree by the fruit it bears. Take a little time to watch the tree. You watch it a while, you can discern that it's not an apple tree, but it's a pear tree. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, you watch the tree long enough, you can see when it bears fruit. You can see if it bears fruit. Lord, I thank you right now. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We ought to take time to discern uh, between right and wrong, good and evil. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Read for us. I didn't mean to get all into that. Uh, that wasn't really where I was going. Read, please. Men was old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man. So the point I was trying to get was here was the giants. The giants, the word giant. Uh, when we talk about giants, we're talking about individuals that are large, individuals that are big, individuals uh, that, uh, Lord, I thank you right now, individuals that, uh, hallelujah, glory be to God, uh, that are enormous. Uh, they could be so tall in size. These people begin to control uh, what was happening on earth. Uh, hallelujah. And all those things were moving away from the godly uh, standards. They were moving away from holiness. They were moving away from having one God, uh, having one Lord, one faith. Uh, but the difference was uh, that Noah, he was monotheistic. He believed in one God. He heard God and God spoke to him and said, build me an ark. I'm not going to talk about that. We're talking about giants. Uh, these giants were uh, individuals that were important people. They were put in important situations. They influenced people. Uh, they dictated. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, when you're dealing with a giant, uh, you're dealing with a force. You're dealing with a, 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 a person that uh, uh, can control, that can dictate, uh, that can make decisions, uh, that can interrupt uh, 
Lord have mercy. Uh, the things that you were doing before. Lord, I thank you right now. Uh, what I want to go to uh, is that uh, God gave me a word that, 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 that uh, it has to do with a song as well. Uh, but giants do come down. Uh, now, a lot of times uh, what's happening today, we're dealing with giants. Uh, we have giant situations that we uh, are dealing with. Our boss can be a giant. Uh, a doctor uh, that has given us bad news can be a giant. Uh, we look at people in their positions. A president, uh, hallelujah, can be a giant. Uh, we're looking at our situation uh, and it can be a giant. Uh, oh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, but just like God brought an end to the giants, uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, in the Old Testament, uh, uh, he sent a flood. Not only did he send a flood, the Bible tells us that the angels that left their first estate, God chained them for everlasting torment. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, you may be dealing with a giant uh, 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 that's intimidating, uh, that's giving you an ultimatum, uh, that's still good uh, against you. Uh, but I want to let you know something, uh, that giants do fall. Uh, giants do come down. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, glory be to God. I'm reminded of David. Uh, uh, the songwriter said, Little David, uh, play on your harp. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, David was a shepherd boy. Uh, he was one of nine brothers, I think seven, uh, eight brothers. Uh, he was one of eight brothers. Uh, and he was the youngest uh, of all of the eight. Uh, uh, but God chose him uh, just like he chose you uh, can I get a wave off you uh, help the Holy Ghost uh, and David uh, was uh, uh, tending the sheep uh, and as he was tending the sheep uh, uh, he was a spiritually minded kid uh, how many Uh, we have a sentimental side. Uh, we like writing poetry. It's a good thing. Uh, somebody say, yeah. uh, if you write poetry, don't stop. Uh, I would even encourage you to keep writing uh, and to publish. Uh, somebody tell them, oh, thank you. Uh, we can't tell you how many songs uh, uh, that David uh, actually wrote, uh, but we have a whole collection uh, of his songs, uh, help the Holy Ghost, uh, of how God uh, has been to him, uh, how he's been uh, a mother and a father. He said, uh, when my mother and father forsake me, uh, the Lord will pick me up. Uh, somebody say, yeah. uh, he said, I waited patiently uh, on the Lord. Uh, he heard my cry uh, and he delivered me. Uh, he said, the Lord uh, is my light uh, and my salvation. Uh, whom shall I fear? Uh, he said, uh, the Lord uh, is my shepherd. Uh, I shall not want. Uh, he was writing. Uh, he was writing about how good God was when you are in God and you and God is in you it makes you powerful that spirit begins to dwell in you I heard a sister pastor today she was teaching a Sunday school if you don't follow Sunday school you are too just follow us on Zoom. Somebody say, yeah. And she began to say, how Mary and how was filled with the Holy Ghost. How 
how I fought a bear. And God allowed me to slay the bear. Somebody say, yeah, I'm almost finished. Just keep praying for me. Somebody say, yeah, hallelujah. He said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? He had to convince Saul, hallelujah, that he could do it. Saul said, you but you, you can't do this. Uh, I imagine he went all the way to the New Testament and said, I can do all things if God give me the strength. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Somebody said, hell, I'm almost to my one and only point that I want to make to you. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. David went in. Ah, no doubt to talk to the Lord. He saw gave him armor, just like Goliath. Uh, he had a helmet, he had brass, and he had uh, feet shod. He had a spear and shield. But he said, I, I've never worked with this before. Help the Holy Ghost. Uh, I, I, I haven't proved it. I haven't tested it, so I'm not going to use it. Somebody say, yeah. Uh, but I know what I'll use. I'll use whatever I have. Somebody tell them, oh, thank you. Uh, Peter John says, silver and gold I have not, but such as I have. Lord, I thank you right now. Now, he had, hallelujah, a sling, and he picked up five, hallelujah, I'm not so eloquent that I could go in and tell you why he had five, he only needed one, somebody say yeah, he picked up five, hallelujah, Ah, uh, stones, uh, five smooth stones, uh, hallelujah, uh, look at here now, uh, when Goliath saw him, uh, he said, why are you sending this child out to me, uh, hallelujah, uh, he said, I'm going to feed you to the dogs, oh Lord have mercy, uh, hallelujah, uh, David said, you come out uh, against me, uh, with all your armor and your shield, your, your, your spear and your sword. But I come in the name of the Lord. Somebody say, giant or the devil. Don't go away from the situation. Thank you, Jesus. If you got to sing, sing till you get in the spirit. If you got to pray, pray till you get in the spirit. David, he went towards Goliath. He didn't go to the side. If you go to the side, they can uh, track you. Uh, but he didn't understand. The lion didn't understand this boy coming right at him. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, he didn't go to the right, to the left. Uh, he didn't go, he didn't stop. Uh, he went towards the lion. Uh, he took that sleep uh, and began to wind it up. Uh, help the Holy Ghost. Uh, all the time, he's moving forward. Don't move backward. Ouch. Move forward. Somebody say, yeah. yeah. I'm going to break away just a little bit. I was an athlete at one time. I played basketball. And I played against seven footers. Jesus. And you can't go away from seven footers. 
we got to go away at him. And you go away from him, you're saying you're scared. Lord, have mercy. If you go away from him, you're saying you're intimidated. Uh-oh. If you go away from him, you tell him that they control you. Lord, have mercy. David didn't waste any time. He went right at Goliath. Now listen to this. I said I had one point, but I have a second one. Every devil has a weak point. But I had all that all on. But David Stone went to the wind, the air, against all kinds of wickedness. Against cursing, against witchcraft, against evil, his stone went all through that and found Goliath's forehead. Every part was covered, but his weakness. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Jesus. The devil got a weak part. Somebody say, yeah. He said, well, how do we find it? Pray. Somebody say, yeah. Be prayerful. Be spiritually minded. The Bible says to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Somebody say, yeah. Naturally, he could fight that giant. Lord have mercy. But spiritually, ah, he can do anything. David said, by my God, I run to a troop and leap the walls. The spirit, Lord have mercy, will allow you to destroy the plans of the enemy. That's why the Bible says no weapon that is swung against you shall prosper. Every tongue rise up against you. You won't condemn. Somebody say, yeah. God is with you. He's more than a whole world against you. Giants, you come down. Seems too big for you. Lord have mercy. I heard the Bible said, Cast your cares upon him because he cares for you. Lord, thank you right now. No matter what it looks like, I heard Isaiah say it. It's already done.
no different from when you slew the bear right. and you slew the lion. Right. Don't look at the situation like it's a giant. Now, if you read that scripture, I believe one time that David referred to Goliath as a giant. Neither can you find it in that text. Somebody tell her thank you. It does have a description of how tall he was. But the bigger you are, the harder you fall. Somebody tell her thank you. Thank you. Don't look at, see, if you look at it as a giant, then you look at it as impossible. With men, things are impossible. But with God, all things are possible. I don't care. And I'm facing some great things right today. So I know that you're facing some great things as well. But if you did it before, that's what David said. If he did it before, Amen. Tell the truth. Tell somebody. He'll do it again. Amen. Don't look at the situation like it's a giant. Look at it as that God is able. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all which we ask or even think. Can everybody say he's able? He's able. No matter how it looks, and it can look pretty grim, it can look pretty dim. Now, it did for a lot of people. I don't know how many people were in in it for long. Did they have a million or five hundred thousand? But it was a lot. But it only takes one to believe. It only takes one to get God to move. The people were scared, and I understood that. They were intimidated. They were frightened. They were anxious. They didn't want to take on that challenge. But as I go back to my main point, go towards the giant. Don't go away from him. Go towards the problem. Go towards the situation. I do believe God 
Lord, that I need your power. Sing your power now. By a shift. I just felt the shift just then. I felt the shift. You know, this this week um, there was an earthquake in New Jersey and it vibrated in parts of Maryland. Uh, my wife told me about it. She said, You didn't feel that, that earthquake? You didn't feel that shift just then? I felt the shift. Somebody tell Lord, thank you. Give God a hand, praise, and a wave offering for the shift. I felt the shift. She felt it, but I didn't. But I just felt it. You might not, but it still happened. A shift took place. Look like I think got a little song for us. Look like a shift took place. Uh, that 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 thing that was standing before you, that situation, it, it, it's starting to come down. It's starting to crumble. We say, Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you today. Hallelujah. I know we don't have a lot out today, but I think. For his word. I thank him for his word. The giants do come down. Hallelujah. Your giant, your situation, your problem is coming down.
Yeah.